The monster twister that hit the southeast last week has been dubbed the Quad State Tornado because it crossed four different states and was on the ground for nearly three hours. Unusually warm temperatures likely supplied the tornado with extra energy. It hit a record-breaking 73 degrees in Paducah, Kentucky before the tornado formed. Warmer air increases the instability, which is one of the most important ingredients to tornado formation. So plain logic may lead you to think that the warmer air was a result of climate change. And it very likely played a role, but it's much more difficult to prove through science. Here are three things to consider. First, it's hard to connect a single weather event like a tornado to climate because climate is a collection of weather events that happen over a long period of time. So you would have to see more occurrences of similar tornadoes over a long time frame to make a valid statement about the impacts of climate. That brings us to the second factor, which is the data. That's where you'll find a trend that shows more tornadoes or stronger tornadoes. And the tornado data is just not showing a trend. The average number of tornadoes has not gone up since 1995. And the data does not show an increase in the strength of tornadoes either. Since no EF5 damage was found in last week's tornado that tore across the Mississippi Valley, the Southeast, and the Midwest, it's now been eight and a half years since the last EF5 tornado in the United States. That's the longest span in history without seeing the most destructive level of tornado. And the third thing to consider, are there variables other than climate that could impact tornado ingredients? For instance, a La Nina weather pattern. Warmer and wetter conditions are more likely in the Midwest and Southeast during classic La Nina years like this one. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.